What is up guys? Pilot Guy or Bucket Help here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the firework system in simple and advanced tutorial. And for newbies you'll be able to learn how to use it and for advanced or more advanced people you'll be able to learn the most advanced part of the firework system in the new snapshot. Anyways, let's get on to it. First thing we need is a die. So we'll grab the die here. And this is the basic part, so I'll just be showing how to make the most basic type of firework. And from there, I'll show you how to use the more complicated parts of the system. Now, let's move all these over here. Alright. And now we need the other materials, so let's grab paper and gunpowder. Actually, I'll put these over here. These are what we need to make the whatchamacallits. These are optional and I'll show these later. Now then let's go ahead and go into the crafting. So first thing I'll do is I'll put a gunpowder piece here or here. It doesn't really matter where you place anything in this tutorial because these crafting recipes are not fixed so I can place these anywhere I want I'm still gonna get the same thing. Anyways I'll place a die here and now I'll get myself a firework star. I want to use a better die than that, so let's do this. I can place multiple dies at the same time to get a bunch of different colors, so I'll have a firework star that's now purple and lime, and I can place as many of these as I like as long as there's space in the crafting area. So I'll fill up the crafting area, and now I have all of these colors at once. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Good job, Mojang. Good job. Anyway. Um, now that I have this, we'll just go with our simple one right now. Let's make a rocket. So, why did I go with that? I don't know. Uh, this is also, as I said earlier, a non-fixed type of recipe, so I can place these anywhere I'd like. And I'll get a simple firework rocket with these two here, the paper and the gunpowder. But what I want to do is add the firework star. And now I'll get a firework rocket with flight duration 1, small ball, and a line. I'll explain how to change those later. So, put these back here. And now let's go ahead and shoot off our first firework. Alright. Give you a little bit of a second to catch up. If you haven't been able to follow along. And now let's go ahead and shoot it. So now we got our small fireworks here. It's fun to spam these, I've got to admit. And now we have our green fireworks. So that's always cool. Now then I'll throw this away. We do not need you right now, I'm sorry. Okay, now let's go ahead and explain the more complicated part of this. So, we'll go over attributes now. So what we want to do is this chest. And basically, these are different attributes you can give to your firework. So I'll take these different things, and you can use these items to make your fireworks look different. And I'll move these over here, and you over here. I'll show you why these are separate in a minute. Anyways, now let's go back over to our crafting table. And we'll need our gunpowder first, so we're going to craft another firework. Uh... So first thing we want to do is make ourselves a fireworks star. As I've said before, we can put as many purple dyes or cyan dyes or lime dyes. I'll make that this time. This is a fireworks star. Now, as you can see right below fireworks star, it says small ball. What we can do with this is change small ball to something else. So using these, I'll move this over here. Yeah, this over here. All right, using these six different types of things, we can change them to diff that to different types of fireworks. So the fire charge will give me a large ball. The heads, any of these three heads, will give me a creeper head. So even the zombie and the normal head will give me a creeper shaped type of diff firework. And the gold nuggets will give me a star shaped. And I did not mention the feather which will give you the burst shaped. Now, I will go ahead and leave the feather in, and these two are optional, well, not optional, these are all optional, but these two can be added on with one of these six. As a side note, I cannot place more than one 
of these six at once in here or it will not let me craft it. Now what I can do is with these two attributes, I can place them in the same time or separate. So this will give me a trail, the diamond gives me a trail, and the glowstone dust will give me a twinkle. And I can use these at the same time, unlike these. I can use these with any of these at the same time though. Alright, I'll go ahead, actually I'll keep both, why not? And we'll make ourselves another firework star. And maybe add some more color to this. Alright. Looks very weird, but we'll do that. And I'll take some of this off now, and I'll make a few more. So let's do that. Take the firework star, and take the lime dye out, and we'll make a firework star. Gunpowder feather. Let's make a dandelion yellow. All right, so we need four. Uh, we don't really need four, but that's what I'm going for to show you some stuff later. All right. Now then. First thing we're going to do is, let's see, jump out. Oh, wait, wait, we need to make the rockets now. My bad. So we'll go ahead and go over the complications of rockets after one other thing. Now, what you can do with these fireworks stars is after we've made them, we can change what they change into after they kind of dissipate, if you understand what I mean. So I can add more dye afterwards and any as many colors as I want again and it's going to fade to those different types of colors. So I'll go ahead and make this firework star like that, and I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. Okay, so now let's go on to the complications of the actual rocket. So this is also, as I said earlier, not fixed, so I can move this anywhere I want. And let's go ahead and put the paper here, and I'll put the gunpowder over here. And now I need a firework star. So I'll go and put a firework star, the fade one, right here and make myself a rocket. And I'll show you what that looks like when we shoot it off. And that's that's what it looks like. See it fades into those different colors, kinda of like those sparklers. Alright. Maybe I should change it to night just so you can see it better. And there you go. So, now let's go over a little bit more complicated stuff with the rockets. Now, put our paper back, put our gunpowder back, and what we can do is put more than one gunpowder at once. So I'll place two here, and I actually need to place a firework star first, there we go. The flight duration changes. So, as you can see right below firework rocket, you'll see flight duration, that's how far up the firework will go. Uh, you could put a maximum of three gunpowder in different spaces. If you put them in the same one, it will still stay as flight duration one. So this is flight duration three. We're trying to move these here. Flight duration one. All right, so I'll go ahead and make a flight duration three, one. Actually, uh, before I do that, I'll show you something else. Now, what I can do is add multiple firework stars to one rocket. I can put as many as can fit in the crafting table area. And these do not have to be in a certain place or anything. And now we'll have all three of those shot off at once by this rocket, so I'll do that. Alright, and grab our paper back. As you can see, we can shoot all of three of these fireworks off with this one rocket. So this is our original beautiful sparkly rocket. And this is our magical gigantic rocket, which actually did shoot off three. I'll try to fly up with it. A bit hard to see, but it did shoot off three at once. It, it does shoot them off at the same exact location, so if you want a gigantic explosion firework, it's great to use more than one firework star on one rocket. Anyways, that is the how the system works, the whole firework system for the new snapshot. I hope you learned something from the video. I'll link the wiki page in the description if you need any further help. If you didn't catch something, you can go there or review the video, depending on what you'd like to do. Anyways, I'll see you all later, and bye.